What's up guys, I'm Will and this is my four month update of my stem cell treatment with Dr. Locks. If you haven't already seen my first video where I go over the whole procedure and what led me into getting stem cells, I highly recommend watching that one first. And I'll leave that in the link up here or in the description below. It's been about four months since my first treatment of stem cell therapy with Dr. Locks, and I'm already experiencing a lot of the benefits. I can now walk and live a pretty normal life with so much less pain. But my goal is not to live a normal life. In just a few months, I plan on getting back on the bike and getting in full training to compete at an elite level in next year's World Cup season. I also planning on climbing mountains well into my 50s and 60s, so I wanna do absolutely everything I can to rebuild as much cartilage as possible to ensure I can get the most out of my body. So we're going in today for the second round of stem cells to ensure I'll be able to get the most out of my body and without any limitations. And I can't wait to get back on the bike, back racing, back training, and I also can't wait to show you the results as well. Hi, I'm Dr. Dennis Loggs. I'm an expert in sports and regenerative medicine. Will is now four months out of his first stem cell procedure. But Will isn't your average patient. He's a professional BMX racer. So certain people, you want to get them at a very high level of functioning. So then you have to individualize it for each patient. So Will is doing wonderful by anyone else's standards, but his standard is a professional elite athlete. So we are going to do something extra today to bring him to the next level. A typical patient, you're just looking to improve their functional level, decrease their pain. So you may only need to do one procedure, but each patient is unique and individual. So this is called personalized medicine. So when you're dealing with somebody like Will, you've got to adjust and, and take care of that patient, their goals, their needs, their aspirations, not just a professional BMX racer tomorrow, but where he's gonna be in his 60s and 70s to stay an elite caliber human being and athlete at that age. Yeah. <laughs> 